HMS. Welcome back to another newscast. Let's check in with Julian with sports. Hey HMS, welcome back to another sports segment. Let's get started. Wildcard weekend wrapped up Monday night. The Seahawks sadly lost to the 49ers 41-23 and are out of the playoffs. But the Bills, on the other hand, won the Dolphins 34-31 and the Cowboys had an outstanding game, winning 31-14 against Tom Brady. Playoffs continue with the divisional round this weekend. A dance popularized by Vikings wide receiver Justin Jefferson has been this season's go-to touchdown celebration. But more and more, fans are subjected to uncoordinated, embarrassing attempts at the dance move we know and love. That is called the giddy, the gritty, I'm sorry, the giddy or the gritty. If you know someone doing the gritty who shouldn't be, we are here to help. You can stop awkward celebrations from dudes that look like they're trying to walk under a small bridge. Kirk Cousins, Mac Jones, Zach Wilson, Mike Gusecki, and even our own Terry Bradshaw. Please, just leave it to Justin. Together, we can put a stop to players with absolutely no rhythm from doing the gritty for good. Practices are still going on for girls basketball and boys wrestling. After school, sports tutoring started yesterday. Seventh grade basketball in room 131 on Tuesday, AKA Ms. Gernard's room, wrestling in the cafeteria on Wednesdays, and eighth grade basketball on Thursdays in the library. Remember, the first girls basketball game is next Monday against Granger. 8th grade here at HMS and 7th grade at CK. That's all I have. See you next week. Back to the anchors. Last week's answer was 1964 and the winner is Jamie Rodriguez. Stop by the office to collect your prize from assignment. This week's question of the week, who knocked out the Seahawks during the wild card round? If you think you know the answer, leave your spots in the box found in the office. Valentine's Day is coming up soon. There will be items available to purchase and be delivered. Stop by the cupcake window next Friday to place your order. Please know the first and last name of the person you're sending it to. And their sixth period teacher. Items will be delivered on February 14th during sixth period. Next Friday, the cupcake will have freshly made popcorn. No pre-order necessary. First come, first serve, 100 PBIS points. 7th grade should not cut through the 6th grade hallway unless you have a note from an adult. For example, a note from a teacher to attend cup time or a note from the nurse to return to class from the office. Remember to use 7th grade science stores by Wash and Everett to go to and from lunch and elective classes. The PBS Tri-2 Intensive has started and they will be looking at your tardies. This will be a grade level competition with the least amount of tardies will receive a Valentine's Day dance party. Yesterday kicked off a two week practice run where tardies will be tracked in power school. Tardy sweeps will- Wait, what's that? A tardy sweep is when class starts and you're still in the hallway, which means you're tardy. The amount of tardies will be added up for each grade level. After the practice run, the real competition starts January 30th. And will run through February 10th. All tardies entered into power school plus the amount of tardy sweets will be added up. The grade with the least amount of tardies will celebrate their victory on Valentine's Day with the dance party. Featuring activities and treats. So get to class on time, please and thank you. I'm trying to win. I'm reading a book about anti-gravity. It's impossible to put down. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a neck brace fitted years ago. I've never looked back since. <laughs> well, that's it, HMS. We'll catch you guys next week. Well, as always, HMS, we leave you with a reminder. We're a community of learners working together to reach our full potential. Go! <laughs>